Hello, my name is Trisha from True Influence, and today I'm speaking with CEO and founder Brian Geis. For those who know him, it's no surprise he received the 2019 B2B Innovators People Choice Award. His visions and methods laid the foundation for the creation of the category Intent Monitoring, when at the time the concept was still fairly new to many demand generation practitioners. Brian sees the full picture and not only frames the strategy, but drives the implementation of the solution that brings ROI to the bottom line. So Brian, thank you for being here today. And for those who don't know, what is True Influence? What does our company do? First of all, thank you, Tricia, for, for taking the time to meet with me. So, so True Influence has been around for a dozen years and we started the company as a marketing automation platform and we moved into uh, using data to drive leads to sales and marketing. Fortunately for us, our customers have rewarded us tremendously over the last 12 years. The company now has 300 full-time employees, many, many millions, dozens of millions in revenue, and we've been profitable for 30 consecutive quarters. And, you know, we've never taken funding in the company or anything like that. We're just doing it the old-fashioned way, which is grow by the admiration of our customers. Um, and, you know, we typically sell to companies that are large businesses, it's typical, or mid-sized businesses, companies like IBM and Microsoft or Staples or Capgemini are our customers. And you know, we're very interested in helping everybody, obviously. Our technology behind the scenes is driven through the process of artificial intelligence. And that intelligence is really very important to the B2B world. And it's the reason why we can scale so, so well and so quickly and reliably over time. Anyway, but that's that's sort of the gist of what we do, and I hope that's I hope that helps. Absolutely, and it's also been reported that truth matters is a very important motto at True Influence right now, which I yeah. personally resonate with as well. What does this mean to you, and why is this so important in this dozens of years of having this company exist? Um, yeah. This motto being present currently. Well, I think there's a lot of companies that confuse the market that we're in. You know, everybody sort of has this, we do intent and, you know, we have uh, intelligence behind the scenes that do this stuff. And the fact is most of them don't. They're, what they're doing is just reselling leads uh, that they buy from somebody and sell to somebody else. And that may or not may or may not matter to a company, but what you see is the return rate of those leads. In other words, you know, a lead is a contact record. It's a business card. And within that business card, it's critical path that the email will deliver and that the telephone will connect. And mm -hmm. when we deliver a lead to you, it's at 100% and it's at the speed of lightning. So what that means is you can call us and say, I need a thousand by tomorrow, we can do it. And we can do it reliably with speed and accuracy. And that's the model of any uh, ninja, you know, any great master of anything is the able right. the ability to deliver with speed and accuracy. I mean, you know, pianos have 88 keys, right? Mm -hmm. And when I play the piano, it's not very accurate and not very fast, but the difference between me and, and a great pianist is the speed and accuracy or say karate, you know, I used to take uh, 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 Taekwondo with the grand master Junri. And he, he would tell me, look, there's only seven moves in karate. But my speed and my accuracy is far different than yours. We are the master. We are able to scale at any size of any company that needs lots and lots of leads or even smaller companies that need extremely accurate leads. So we can do both of those things. We're agile in that way. And of course we do it through a platform that we developed that's a delivery platform. So you can, you can receive your leads and use and go up and self-serve if you want, or you can have us do it for you, you know, kind of thing. But, but the truth comes in just not making mistakes knowingly, right? And, and what I'm seeing a lot of presentations is that they're actually making a mistake and they're doing it on purpose, um, which is turning the, the, the industry sideways a little bit and confusing people. And we're going to talk a lot about that, you know, when we come to, to the summit or we, we do any kind of presentation on how exactly we do this, what's behind the scenes. You know, we're not a black box, we're an open box. And we're willing to tell anybody everything about how we do this. Our lead flow is organic. It comes from our systems uh, uh, authentically. And I believe that that, that's, that kind of truth really matters, right? Not just to the, your brand as a, as a customer, right? But to your integrity as a person. It should, it should just be that way, but it's not.
And it mm -hmm. takes us millions of dollars. It took us really tens of millions of dollars to develop this back end system. You know, we have teams of data scientists, we have teams of analysts that are, are behind the scenes making all this work. And we're happy to show you, you know, how this works specifically. So when you integrate it into your process, you know, you can count on it. So that, that to me is, is what that means. I really appreciate the idea behind not having this black box that's closed door, but rather it's it's open. You get to understand and understand the the individuals that are a part of making the incredible marketing cloud happen, the data scientists that are being a part of this as well, and having that transparency so that no one has to be left in the dark. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I think I think it should be an open door. And uh, we're going to talk about that. You know, we we talk about that in our summits when we do when we do. We're doing one tomorrow, as you know. And we intend to tell the, not just the results of what we get, but how we specifically do it. How does the relevance engine create the difference? Why can it scale? You know, how does identity graphing work? And why is it important to a marketer, right, to be able to graph who specifically? you know, is making, you know, doing this, uh, this activity on the internet, we can, we can not, not just talk about it, but we can show you how it works. That's awesome. And modern B2B customers and buyers, we now expect self-service, right? Everything in our personal life yeah. outside of business to business is self-service. So when True. it comes to their leads, they're expecting self-service or repeat buyers are increasingly reliant on this marketing automation that happens. So let's unpack how does true influence leverage data around interactions when it comes to this self-service model, when it comes to this marketing automation that we're able to deliver. Yeah. So, so uh, we're a data-based uh, company, right? We, we, we leverage data to drive leads to marketing. We do that by way of combining data interactions through artificial intelligence. Now, what that means is we bring in data from the web both first party and third party data. The first party data is on our network. The third party is through Bitstream. And we bring in billions of interactions a day. And then we convert that signal, if you will, to a company. And the companies are triangulated to people. So that's where the identity draft triangulation comes in. Now, what are we actually looking at? Well, we're looking at technographic, firmographic, and contact data. And we're also looking at web interactions. So things like, did you attend a webinar or did you download a white paper or what are your social interactions and, and how does that work? We can see all of it and, um, you know, we can expose it, you know, to a marketer in a very uh, meaningful way to be able to see this is the right person to market to, right? It, it gives you the, the, the right person at the right time who's interested in con consuming that content that you so much want to get out to the marketplace. And that's what our platform does. And you can do it yourself or we can do it for you. You know, it's either or, you know, kind of thing. And, it, and the interesting thing is, you know, I think as a company, our company really believes in, in the customer in that we're not going to charge you for something that, that you're not going to use. We only charge you when it works for you in that way. So we guarantee success. And, and I think uh, that's been our strength because, you know, we're growing like crazy. Um, and uh, we, we are on the side of the customer authentically, right? That's mm -hmm. part of the truth matters, you know, message. And I think customers are rewarding us with, with pile on of, of more of their lead flow. The other way that we, um, we, we, we help customers is by selling them our data, not just in the form of a lead, because a lead is a contact record. Right. right. I, I was talking with, with a, a very large data provider and I sell it. I said, you sell raw leads which you call leads, which are contact records for 25 cents. We sell interested people who mm. are interested in the topic that you're, that our customers are most interested in finding out about for $40. And the value equation is there because, you know, the raw data is not very meaningful. When, the, when a person expresses interest in a topic or a category and, and reaches out and says, I'm very interested in talking to you about it. That's when this book becomes very meaningful. And that's when you can move the needle financially. We have lots of customers that tell that story. So I think that's fantastic too. You're painting yeah. this picture of the interest of the individual, right? That we see in the whole company itself, 
that yeah. what is more important or what more special than someone saying, Hey, I'm interested. And that yeah. is so much more valuable than just a name, a number, and all this information that gets to be the contact. It, it paints the picture of these are people that are alive. They're ready. They're living. They're yeah. moving throughout their business to business space. And you know exactly what and when they are interested. Exactly. I mean, timing is everything. Somebody mm-hmm. invented that phrase. And, and it, it is everything, Tricia. I mean, everything is about timing. So you want to intersect with the person at the time when they want to be touched because they're moving around whether you like it or not. And they're out researching what it is you have to offer all the time. And there is a spike at some time that, that happens. And when that spike occurs, we can send them that email or programmatically display a banner that, that represents you. There's a variety of ways to get to this person, chat to them and the like. So uh, when that interaction happens, uh, it happens when they're ready and not before. That's really what audit marketing automation originally was built to do and really can't do because it only does it when they're approaching your website. We do it for the world. This is like a marketing automation system for the entire world. So we can see all the interactions everywhere through a variety of channels, combine them and be able to give them to you in a timing way so you can get to that person at the right time, not just when they're coming to your website, which is what marketing automation does. So this is sort of a an enhancement of marketing automation. It's also a replacement of it as well. And also an awareness that there's more than just somebody visiting a website, that that movement that you're talking about, how they're constantly moving around, that yeah. those moves yeah. they're making are important, even if it's not on your website, they yeah. could be interested in other ways, which is fantastic to be able to identify. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, listen, you need to see them way before they fill out a form, <laughs> you know, way before and way before they get to your website. So mm-hmm. we can show you the signaling and we can score it uh, worldwide to show you before they get to you, your website so you can attract them to your website. And that's the power of what we built in our marketing cloud, right? It's, it's that top level feed that, that is absolutely necessary to make automation systems like marketing automation or Salesforce automation work effectively. Mm-hmm. So it minimizes the friction to the customers. It really eliminates the, the need for, for cold calling. You know, actually, if, if you were to use this properly, it really kind of eliminates that um, pretty effectively. So we see, we've, he- we've heard that from our customers. Awesome. Taking away the dreaded cold calls and making it part of the yeah. regular call. Someone wants to be able to answer the phone and have right. a conversation. <laughs> I love that's it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So what are some future trends that demand generation marketers should be paying attention to now as they create new goals and seek out new partners? Yeah, that's a big question. Um, so, so I think right now marketers are focused on this uh, account-based marketing or ABM you know, strategy. And, and I think uh, you know, we've been doing ABM. Uh, if you're not marketing to accounts and, and so on, you, you've missed the boat a long time ago, but we've been doing this since for years and years. Forrester Serious Decisions has packaged it into ABM. And I think that's an interesting idea, but that's, I think we're, we're moving toward the end of the idea. You know, I, 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 think, I think there's a lot more to it than, than, than simple account-based marketing. I think it's more than that. I think what a marketer should look at is one platform that allows for multiple simultaneous channels to be managed from the same helm. That, that was the promise of marketing automation where it failed, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you know, we all brought out marketing automation platforms and it was, it really turned into an email system that scores stuff and that's okay, but it's not enough. It's not complete. I mean, there are channels like programmatic display, uh, you know, other than email there are channels like programmatic display, like social media, like data insights that are critical channels for marketers to go after. Why not find a place where we can bring all these channels together? And I think that's the next phase. And it, it's a big idea, obviously, and it's what we're after to do. And I'm seeing companies talk about it and not really execute yet on it. And I don't, I don't think I call it ABM. I'm not sure what to call it. That's sort of Forrester's job to figure yeah. out what they're going to call this thing. Um, but I know there's a need for it. Customers are telling us that. You know, they have they have multiple channels and they're using desperate systems to manage it, they have a bunch of tools that do different things. And it's like this marketing stack, they call it, but why not just have it in one place or at least most of it in one place? You know, Why not have personalization, web personalization, email, 
programmatic, mm-hmm. all in one place. And there are certain marketers, certain marketing companies, other uh, companies you know, like ours that are to do one of those things pretty well, or maybe two. And we want to own that market. That's where we're headed with this. Um, and we already have email, we have programmatic, and we have data, and we're developing other channels as well. Those are the, the primary channels marketers use is the old right. standard email, right? That's the mo- that's the biggest channel. The difference with us is we have the data included, right? So you don't have to go and buy the data elsewhere and bring it to your marketing automation and, and so on. We're going to tell it, we're going to show you who to market to specifically with intent, who's interested in your service and only email those. Now, what does that do? Well, it reduces fatigue of your database dramatically. And it increases, it increases your brand awareness amongst those who are interested, actually. It, it doesn't fatigue your brand either. I mean, you know, if you go out and send emails out to everybody like you're doing with our marketing automation platforms, your brand is going to be decreased, the value of your brand. So we can stop that from happening by, by taking a, a very tactical approach at this. And then, of course, programmatic display, which is also another way to get mm-hmm. to the market for branding purposes is very powerful and driving traffic to your website, right? As, as a result of the branding. And that's a very powerful pillar of marketing that B2B marketers, if you're not looking at it, should look at it right away. And it's part of our platform as well, both of those systems. And then you're going to need data. You're going to need contact data, you know, in order to power your marketing automation platform. We could do that too, obviously. But that's the integration of all this in one place. I, again, I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of marketing nirvana. That's probably what they should call it. So just say it. <laughs> it's exciting because you're also talking about watching how we all interact on these different channels in different ways. Somebody responds yeah. to email differently than they look at programmatic display, then they interact on social. And so yes. being able to navigate that and put it all in one place, like it's going to take actually some sort of integration that is, is yet to come. So it's exciting that we are on the track and building this and um, yes. we got the foundation down. Well, we've got much of it built already. And, and, yeah. and the future, you asked me about the future, all the channels should be at one helm, right? The, the master, the marketing master that's listening to this right now should be able to have one place to go and have you know, those things be in one spot. So eventually uh, uh, we'll, we'll reach have that all marketing that. nirvana. Marketing nirvana, I think that's the best way to put it. That's what, that's what the, the, the uh, chief marketing officer for DNB called our platform. When he saw it, he said, this is really marketing nirvana. And I said, well, okay, I'll, I'll take it. You know. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. And thank you so much for sharing. So if you all would like to know anything more about True Influence or our solutions, please visit us at trueinfluence.com.